Hey, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I made a video. I'm gonna try and get back into the swing of things. But last Monday, I went to a Goodwill outlet for the first time. So I've seen a lot of videos of people going to them online, looking for video games and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to go to one. I remember looking and there was really none in my area, but apparently last year, I don't know how I missed it. They opened one up like relatively close to me. So I decided to check it out. I've been going like almost every day. I think I maybe skipped a day or two in the last week. If you don't know how a Goodwill outlet works, pretty much you pay for everything by the pound. The rate per pound will differ depending on the location and also based on the products, so like electronics would be a different rate than apparel and stuff like that. The one I've been going to, media is actually a dollar a piece, whether it be a book, a DVD, a game, a CD, a Blu-ray or anything like that, it's all a flat rate of a dollar. So it's a little bit more expensive than it probably would be to be paying for by the pound, but it's still a pretty good deal nonetheless. Pretty much any game for a dollar is gonna be worth it. So as I said, I've been going pretty much every day the last week. I'm just gonna do a little recap of everything gaming related I got. Most of what I picked up was games, but I also have been getting a lot of Blu-rays because I do collect those as well, as well as a couple of miscellaneous things. If you wanna see those, I could definitely start tacking on to the end of these videos if I keep making these. So just let me know if you're interested in seeing other things I get outside of video games. I can definitely do that, but for now, I'm just gonna show the games I got, or at least anything gaming related. So I've got everything kind of organized by a platform here. And we're going to start with the Nintendo stuff, which is all Wii games with one Wii U game at the end that I'll show. These first two are empty cases. One does have the manual, which is Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. And then this one's just an empty case. I was so excited when I saw this, but unfortunately when I opened it up, it was completely empty. I know this is like a $40, $50 game now. I'm not sure exactly why. I can understand Wii Party U being expensive, but Wii Party... Seems like it should be more common. I guess it probably didn't have as big as a print run as like Wii Play or Wii Fit or any of the other Wii games, Wii Music. At the very least, I can get a disc and manual to complete this for cheaper than it would be to probably buy a complete copy. So I figured why not. Same with this one. I can easily get a disc only copy. I don't believe this game is supposed to be that good, but I am interested in the Tales series. I haven't played any of them, but this one does have the manual. So getting a disc only copy, once again, I can probably piece it together. And it was probably worth getting for the dollar. So I got Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 2. I actually have a sealed copy of this I got in a garage sale last year that came with the mat in unused condition, which is pretty exciting. Came in like a Wii bundle. I think it came with just that, the Wii complete in box in really good shape, the mat, which was unused in a sealed copy of this game, maybe like one or two other games. So I was really excited to find this because I definitely didn't want to open that sealed cop and I really wanted to use the mat, so. I don't know a ton about like what the best DDR games are. I looked a little bit into it. I don't think it's supposed to be one of the best, but still, I, it's going to be fun to play a DDR game nonetheless. And the mat I have is actually that exact one there, which since it connects with the GameCube port, I can also use that to get DDR Mario Mix as well. So pretty cool. I got two Just Dance games, Just Dance Kids and Just Dance 3 which when I got the Just Dance Kids, it came with a disc only copy just sitting in the case on top of it of Just Dance 3. And then I ended up finding Just Dance 3 complete in box just a couple days later. The Just Dance 3 disc right here is pretty scratched. I haven't tested it yet. My guess is it probably will still work. It's just in kind of rough shape, but we'll see. The reason why I'm getting the Just Dance games is because once again in a garage sale last year, I got a pretty big Wii lot and it came with like four of the Just Dance games. So I'm kind of thinking about just getting the full collection. I don't know if I'll keep them, but I think at the very least I could do like a bundle deal and sell them all together and maybe get something for them. The Just Dance series is pretty popular. I know the game, most of the games aren't worth much, but not necessarily games I'm interested in playing, but kind of fun to try to complete the collection, see if I can just find all the ones in the wild and then maybe I might make a bundle and sell them all. I guess I should probably just start showing the inside of the cases, but most of these games are thankfully complete, but we got Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga on the Wii. The Wii isn't the best platform, like, I would rather have this game on PS3 or Xbox 360, but still cool nonetheless. LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga is a pretty fun game. I've always been interested to go back. The only way I comp actually comp played the Complete Saga as a kid was the DS version. I had one and two on the GameCube and then Complete Saga on the DS, so I haven't actually really played all the way through the home console version of this before, I don't think, so... I really much prefer the old school LEGO games. The formula got a little overdone. I just prefer the charm of the original games, the art style and everything. And as you can tell behind me, if you didn't know my background, this, these are all drawers of Lego parts. So I'm a big Lego fan in general, but I haven't really kept up with the games. I think the last one I played was probably the second Harry Potter one, which was what, back in 2012 or something like that. But yeah, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, kind of a classic, cool to get. 
I think this was originally like an Xbox Live arcade game, and then there was like one on the DS, maybe some more, but haven't tried this one yet, but Geometry Wars Galaxies, once again, it is complete. The box art in this looks really cool. I'm interested to give it a shot, see if it's any good. Then the one Wii U game I got, I thought this was complete, because I saw this stuff, but I realized it didn't have the manual when I got home, but I mean, any Wii U game for a dollar, why not? So we'll see if I hang on to this. I don't have the microphone, but I might feel, I have a Wii microphone, so maybe that'll work for this. I'm not sure if you need a special one or not, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and move into the Xbox stuff. So the first thing is two Xbox One games. One is actually just the case. I'm not sure why I got this. It was my first day at the outlet and I was just kind of on the high of being able to find video game stuff. And I decided just to get the case. I mean, I'm sure I could usually get a disc once again and then maybe flip this. I don't have too much interest in really owning Minecraft on Xbox One. I mean, if I'm gonna play Minecraft, I'm just gonna play it on PC. So not sure why I got this. I mean, I guess an empty Xbox One case is an empty Xbox One case. And then this one, this might actually be one of the more expensive games. Not that it's an expensive game at all, but Connect Sports Rivals. This one is apparently like a $10, $15 game and I'm trying to get every rare game. So I don't know if this is any good. It's probably not. It's a rare game. I'm trying to get all of them, at least from N64 on. This is will help my rare collection and who knows, maybe it'll be a decent time. I can't say I'm too interested in any Kinect games, but I was surprised that this one wasn't like a $5 game, that it actually has some value. That's it for Xbox One. Now we're gonna move to OG Xbox, starting off with this demo disc. Looks like it has Outlaw Golf, Street Hoops, Dead or Alive 3, and Hunter the Reckoning. I'm honestly not familiar with most of these games. And also you got Crazy Taxi 3. I don't actually have an OG Xbox, so I won't be able to play this, but I do wanna get one eventually. I do have a 360, so anything that's backwards compatible on 360, I can play, but I'm assuming this probably won't work. Cool to find little stuff like this. These are always just fun little things to get. The disc is a little scratch for this one, but this Prince of Purge of Santa Time disc actually was in this demo case, which I, at first I'm like, oh, I, maybe the demo for Prince of Purge on a separate disc. I'm like, no, this is just an actual game disc. So I do have the demo disc and then the actual game. I'm probably not gonna keep it. I don't keep disc only games. I don't collect disc only games. Usually if a game doesn't have a manual, I usually don't keep it either, unless it's a game I really want. Yeah, these demo discs are always a little interesting. I like the case for this, looks like 2003. So you got Prince of Persia, what else is on here? Uh, Disney Extreme Skate Adventure, Magic the Gathering, some sports games, some videos, Grabbed by the Ghoulies video. Yeah, these things are always kind of fascinating to get. And anytime you see one for cheap, mine as well. They're just little novel things to have. Another DDR game. This one apparently it was an Xbox exclusive. We got DDR Ultra Mix 4. Once again, I'm not sure what the best DDR games are. Maybe if you've played them, leave them in the comments below. Tell me which ones. Tell me if this one's worth keeping or not. I'm thinking about getting the mat for the PS2 because I think some of the PS2 ones are supposed to be some of the better ones. So maybe just have the Wii mat to be able to play like Mario and the two that I have now. And then maybe get a PS2 mat just for all the other games. Because I think the PS2 ones are supposed to be the best, but maybe this is one of them. But yeah, once again, complete. I'm very surprised that most of the games I found were complete. The last OG Xbox game I got is the original Counter-Strike. Once again, this one is complete. I've played a little bit of CSGO, maybe like 10, 15 hours, 20 hours on Steam. I mean, it was kind of fun, but I feel like it's just not quite my thing. It was always interesting to see these older PC games or like any sort of Valve games on console. Like, Having Half-Life on home console is just very weird to me, but that is a thing that exists, like PS2, and I think there might be an Xbox version of Half-Life as well. Yeah, that's it for the OG Xbox games. Now for the 360 games. I got a sealed copy of Wipeout in the Zone. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I don't really think it's worth opening any of these sealed games. So I might just start a little sealed collection and just little novelties I have. I have a couple sealed games. I have a sealed copy of like the Black Eyed Peas game on Wii. I'm not sure why, but a dollar for a sealed game, unless it's like a sports title, why not get it? Now I know there's much better ways to play this game now in a thousand different versions, but Skyrim Legendary Edition, Something about the old PS3 360 Skyrim is nostalgic for some reason. Like playing it on console and on these older systems versus like playing it on PS4, just something feels different. So I might actually hold on to this one. Uh, I don't know if this version came with the map. Maybe the legendary one didn't come with the map, but it looks like it's two discs, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, it looks like it includes the DLC as well. So I'm, 
I don't think I have the DLC on PC, so maybe this will be the way I end up playing through the game. I've actually never beaten Skyrim. I had it on PS3 back in the day, but never finished it. I think this was the first Skylanders game I didn't play. I have all the other ones on PS3, so I have the first one, Giants and Spot Force, and I think this is the fourth game, so this is where I stopped playing. I am interested in uh, playing through them. I actually almost have a complete set of the original Skylanders. I think there were like 32 for Spire's Adventure or 36, and I'm missing just one if you don't count the variants. Outside of that, I, I only really have nostalgia for that first game, so after that, I'm probably not going to collect the figures, but I am interested in trying out the later games, seeing what they change and stuff like that. These games aren't great, but as I said, I have some nostalgia for them. Um, yeah, maybe this one will be fun. Figured why not. It is technically complete, I think, because I don't think this one came with a manual, so... Now, I used to have these games on Wii, but I no longer have the instruments, so one of these days, if I can find the instruments for cheap, I'll definitely get them, but I got Rock Band 1 and 2. Both are complete. And yeah, I really like these games. I, I really like like the character customization of two. I've heard even three is pretty good. So if I can get the instruments, I might even try like three or get Lego Rock Band again. I remember that one being kind of weird. This one, I'm not really sure why I got, but Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. I don't really play many first person shooters and this entire era, like the 360 PS3 era of shooters, I just like don't really have any interest and in. I have interest in older shooters and like maybe like PS2 era stuff speaks to me more, which we'll get to some later. But yeah, I don't know if this is a good game. Let me know. I'll at least give it a try. We'll see if I end up keeping it. Uh, I might just end up trading it into my local store. So I'm going to say as a multiplayer and a single player disc. I don't know why I got this. All right, now we're moving to the PlayStation stuff. So this one technically is not a PlayStation game. So what I do is any video game, I'll open the case because you never know what might be in it. And this one, I'm like, oh, it's Tiger Woods PJ Tour 2003. And I open it up and what's inside is a Game Shark disc and a little PS2 card. So I looked into this. I'm, I'm guessing this is the GameCube one, but this is a PS2 memory card. So I'm kind of confused. I have not tested these yet. So I'm not exactly sure. As I said, I think this is for use on the GameCube. And this is a PS2 memory card. So I don't know if you need a card to use it on the GameCube or how this works, but I just decided to pick it up because I wasn't too sure what it was and thought it could be interesting to have. I haven't tested them yet, but... Now this one I was debating getting because it was a disc only copy, but San Andreas for PS3, it is a greatest hits version. Probably not gonna hang on to this. I do have an extra PS3. So I've been trying to kind of think of some games maybe to bundle with it. So if I get any really cheap PS3 games, kind of bundle it with it to increase the value a bit so I can sell it. Yeah, so this will probably go with that. Not gonna hold on to this. And then I mainly got this because this is a really clean copy. I have the collection on PS4, so there's really no reason for me to own this. At the very least, it'll be a really good replacement PS3 case. Uncharted 3. Now, all the rest of the games I got are PS2 games. So I'm going to go ahead and go through them real quick. So this one is sealed. It's Mark Davis Pro Bash Challenge. It's a Natsume game. I know they made a ton of fishing games. Like, there's the real fishing series made by Natsume. I'm assuming this might be kind of like that. I'm not sure. But once again, a sealed game for a dollar. Can't really go wrong with that. They're pretty novel to own. This one I'm pretty excited to play, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, once again, complete. Uh, I played some of the oh, first game on 64, but that's the only one I've played, so I don't know what the best ones are supposed to be, but I know 5 is bad, but I'm pretty sure 4 is supposed to be pretty good. I've been really itching for like some peak 2000s games, and I definitely feel like the Tony Hawk series is definitely one of those. I got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six 3, complete. I never played a Rainbow Six game, never really played a Tom Clancy game. I'm always kind of interested in like these old movie license games because they don't really make them anymore. So got Surf Stuff on PS2, once again complete. Don't really know what to expect of this one, but we'll at least give it a shot. I got SOCOM 2, going to what I said about the shooters. I don't collect Greatest Hits games, but once again, really good shape. I don't really mind having Greatest Hits games. I mean, I prefer not to have them, but if the price is right, like I'm not gonna pay retail when I could just buy a black label copy, but if you're getting games for a dollar, whatever, Greatest Hits is fine. It's in really good shape, so. This one I never owned, but I do remember playing a little bit of it on the GameCube, a pretty decent license game, Shrek 2. Once again, complete. Then I got, I'll show all these at once. So you got the first Guitar Hero, Greatest Hits. 
complete. Guitar, Guitar Hero Rock the 80s, complete. Guitar Hero 2, complete. And Guitar Hero 3, complete. I don't know if I'll end up keeping two or three, but at least keep the first two, because I have these two on 360 already, and I don't have the guitar for PS2, but I believe the PS2 is the only way to play these first two Guitar Hero games, uh, Encore Rock the 80s, and the first Guitar Hero. So I'll at least keep those. I might just hang on to all of them. I think you can pretty much get every Guitar Hero game up until like Metallica maybe on PS2. So I just got a couple more games. I got GTA 3. Complete this one doesn't have the map or the poster. Was it a poster? I think it was a poster, um, but still has the manual, so. Now this one, when I got home, I realized this one has really negative reviews. So I'm kind of both more and less interested in playing it, but with Godai Elemental Force, looks like it's like kind of an action game. Maybe it'll be fun to try out. Maybe it'll be really bad. And then I got Black, which I believe is a sh yep, it's a shooter. This one I see all the time. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be any good, but it is the greatest hits copy. So don't have much to say about any of those games, but it is all the games I got. There's a couple other random things I got, like this PSP instruction book. It's got this little case. These things were just kind of spilled out all over one of the bins. And I found this little thing to put them in. So looks like it has everything. It looks like it is for the uh, 3000 model, or maybe, is that a revision? 3001, I don't know too much about the PSP. I don't have one. It's always a system I've wanted to get, but I just can never find them. Even at like local stores, I never see PSPs, like the systems, or even very many games. That's what the main thing that's put me off. And then I got half of an OG Xbox One power cable. It's missing the other half, but once again, all electronics are I think at mine about 70 cents a pound. So I think this was around that price. I think this is probably about a pound. I got a couple random figures. So I got this, this Latios or Latias, I don't remember. And then a Jack Sparrow Disney Infinity figure. I don't remember how much toys are, but with how light these things are, probably like maybe 25 cents at most for the figures. And then I was really excited to find these. This one isn't as exciting because I'm not really a fan of the series, but I got this Five Nights at Freddy's plush, but then I was digging through one of the plush bins and I got a Jirachi. I think this is Bunnelby. So a Pokemon plush, as I said, I think both these together were maybe like 50, 60 cents. So really cool to have uh, this Jirachi one, especially. They're all in good shape, no rips or anything. This is honestly probably one of my favorite finds this plush year. All right, well, I think that'll do it. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more like pickup videos. I'll definitely keep going to the outlet. Maybe not as much as I have been, but at least a couple times a week, I'll go ahead and check it out. I'm still kind of learning how it works. It's definitely like its own culture down there. So yeah, thanks for watching. Definitely excited to try out some of these games and really excited that I found a new place that I can start trying to get games for cheap. So thank you for watching and I'll see you whenever I end up making next.